Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Or maybe it's a secret. Well, hey, Tom Matson here. Welcome back to VBS 2020. We're excited for what's shaping up to be really an incredible day. Today, our teams are out here on the water. They're getting prepared. They've warmed up their muscles. They've put on their sunscreen. And we're excited to see what's truly shaping up to be an incredible race. Today, we're gonna see if our teams have what it takes to race from this side of the lake all the way to the other on these swan paddle boats. The first team across the finish line will be our winner. Today's gonna to be an incredible day. Let's see who has what it takes for VBS 2020, the race to faith. Hey, Alex, I think we're gonna win this today. I think we got this. Hey, are you okay? What's going on? Kylie? What? I just remembered something. What? I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this! I can't do it! I can't do this! I can't do it! Well, it looks like Alexa is struggling with a little bit of anxiety. Well, let's go ahead and get started today. I want you to raise your hand if you've ever been afraid. I think almost all of us raised our hands. And if you didn't, you were thinking about it. See, usually how our face looks is how our heart feels. So I wanna do a little game with you. I want you to show me, and maybe somebody in your house, what a scared face looks like. Okay, ready? One, two, three. That was a good face, you did awesome. Now I want you to show me what an anxious face looks like or a worried face looks like. Ready? One, two, three. So there's some pretty good worried faces. What's so amazing about Jesus is he wants to take those worried and those scared faces and he wants to give us a face of peace because that shows how our heart feels. So now show me what a face of peace looks like. Good, that's an amazing face you have. Today we're gonna talk about how Jesus can give us peace in the middle of any storm we are facing. Wait, I think I see my Bible coming up here. All right, we've got our Bibles and we are going to be in Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. When the evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side of the lake. They left the crowd behind and they took him along in a boat just as he was. There were also other boats with him. A wild storm came up. Waves crashed over the boat. It was about to sink. Jesus was in the back sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and they said, teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up and he ordered the wind to stop. He said to the waves, quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Don't you have any faith at all yet? They were terrified and in awe. And they asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. So one night after a long day of preaching to the people, Jesus and his disciples wanted to cross to the other side of the sea. So they all got into a boat. When they had sailed to the middle of the sea, they started noticing something. They started to notice that the air was starting to get a little windy and the waves were picking up and starting to crash a little bit. And it wasn't getting any better. It was just getting worse. It just started to grow even more fast and even more furious.
like that. This is how they looked. The disciples were panicking and they were worried and afraid. And mind you, Jesus was taking a nap right now. Seriously, taking a nap? You know those people that can fall asleep during the most intense part of a movie? You know who you are. Well, Jesus was napping at this time. So the disciples are frantic and they go get Jesus and they're, Jesus, wake up, don't you care if we drown? And immediately Jesus stood up and he said this, quiet, be still. Wow, and just like that, the waves died down, the sea grew calm, and the boat that they were in was no longer sinking. Jesus then looked at his disciples and asked, why were you so afraid? Did you not know that I would take care of you? The disciples then, looking at each other and in awe, said, who is this that even the wind and the waves obey him? What's so amazing about this story is that it is true. And there are many other stories like that in God's word, the Bible. See, the Bible is like a nutritious meal. Think about your favorite meal that your mom makes for you. She might even be making it for you right now. And whenever you're done eating it, oh man, it's just so good. You feel so good, right? Oh, it's so yummy. Well, the Bible is like that for us spiritually. Whenever we read God's word, oh, it brings us peace. It just feels so good to be in the presence of God when we read his Bible. What's so cool about this story is that Jesus did not stop the storm from happening. No, see the storm still happened, but Jesus was with the disciples during the whole entire storm. And he gave them peace in the midst of the storm, even when things were scary. And see, that's what Jesus does for us as well. Whenever we are facing something scary or hard or just unknown, Jesus promises to give us peace in the midst of it. And for me, I just pray a simple prayer like this. Jesus, I ask for your peace. Jesus, give me your peace. And you know what's so amazing is Jesus will. Jesus keeps his promises and he will always be with us. He will never leave us and he is right by our side through everything that we face. So remember, as you are going through something scary or unknown, Jesus is with you and he can give you peace in the scariest of situations. All right, let's go check on Alexa and see if she's overcome her fear. I can't do this. I can't do it. I really think you can. Hey, did you know God can give us peace? Even on a boat. I think you should ask for his peace. Okay, you're kind of freaking out. Let's let's take a deep breath. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. We can do this. You can do this. We can do this. We can do we this. Can do Well, hey, you know, today we've learned a lot. We've learned that we can have peace in the middle of a storm and that God is always with us. It's been a great day together here in the park and 
I hope you've enjoyed it. Let's all remember today as we leave that God loves us. He cares about us. Would you pray with me? God, we love you. We thank you. God, thank you that you give us peace, that you care about us, that you're always there with us. Lord, we love you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. I'm Tom Matson signing off. This is VBS 2020, The Race to Faith. Thank you.